Greetings! Let's pick back up where we left off, shall we? Seeking the Stone of Baron Zaya, here in Markarth. First stone in Markarth. Yes, that does indicate that there are two in Markarth. That I'm going to seek out is in the Treasury House. I'm just going to be right up this little path to my right some more. Enons, I think this one is the Treasury House. Sure enough. Within the treasury house. Let's see, I believe this is a type of inn. There is a bedroom here, larger than all the rest. One bedroom to rule them. As it were, I don't believe it's either of these two. So hold a moment. Huh. That is a locked gate with a safe behind it. Thoroughly interesting. It looks like something went down in here. A couple of ash piles. Only battle begets ash piles. A chest that it looks like I've already robbed. And I'm guessing that this is one this character's already had. So let's Keep them fetch one of my other goons. Hey, look at that. Okay, so here we are in the treasury house in the back of the... I'm going to call this the master bedroom. And here we have a nice little stone of Baron Zaya. Acquired. He detected me right after I acquired it, but not right before, so I am good to go out and get another stone. So back into Markarth we step. The next stone of Baron Zaya is going to be up in the palace, the Understone Keep itself. And inside what other place? Then the Dwoomer Museum, off to the right, as you first enter. I believe this character has free passage. Ooh, maybe not. At least the guard doesn't care, though. That's good. You can talk to a man named Calcimo, who's in Understone Keep to your left when you first come in the door. If you would, uh... If you would prefer... I wonder if I have invisibility. If you, uh, would like to do a quest to... It's not alteration, is it? It's illusion. I do not. I know it's one of those two, at least. Uh, if you want to gain, like, okay access to the Dwemer Museum, if you want to gain access and them not care, that can make it really easy to loot this place. You have oh, trespasser! Oh, and he does not like me! Alright, I'm gonna have to, I think, bring my... I know my archer's already gotten it. I guess I'll bring Creasy in here. So I now enter the museum as Creasy. The stone... Crap. I guess... I will just... have to let these guys be mad at me. Ho ho! Hey, this looks like a locked side room. Hold on guys, hold on just a second. It's not fair to attack me while I pick a lock. That is, uh... That is off limits. Hey, there the stone is. So, if you want to do this, the uh, I don't care about my bounty route, then you can just walk in here trespassing. Um, if you want to get this stone without the bounty, then you probably need an invisibility potion or some really good sneak skill. I'm going to take that unusual gem. They're going to give me 250 bounty. Now, the important thing about doing it this way is not to submit to any of the guards, because they will take all your stolen items, and I think that gem might be counted stolen. So, let's make a quick dash out of Markarth here. Yeah, it looks like all the guards are going to be mad at me, so this might be a hectic run. Ho oh, oh, ho, tink tink. And we'll permanently claim the stone and move on to the next. I guess I can go ahead and chop here. You guys don't necessarily see the technique I use to run as fast as I can out the front door. Oh! Oh, and while I happen in here with my mage to make sure I have it on him as well, because I'll probably have to turn this quest in on him, so I want him to have all of them. Let me mention that if you are the Jarl's Thane, you can generally tell one of these guards to let you go, and uh, you won't get any bounty, and they will give you free reign, just like you see here. And also, if you are with the Thieves' Guild, then you can pay the guards off without them taking all of your stolen goods, which is paramount for this quest. The next stone is up in a side of a mountain called Dead Crone Rock. Now I'm gonna jump over there real quick, but just know that the path to Dead Crone Rock is kinda crazy um, if I really get in here on my map. Um, all of this is mountain that divides this section of territory from Markarth over here. 
and from just the greater open Skyrim, you have to come like way down around where this cave is, this pure water run cave, and then you have to come up in basically this valley that Dead Crone Rock sits in. The valley you now see stretched out before you. Looks like there's a couple cronies here that don't want me here. So let's see how much they like a couple of these. And then let's proceed up. I believe the gym is at the very top. Which worries me just a touch because this character's been here. It is likely, ooh, a gold diamond ring, yeah. It is likely that uh, he's already been to the top. And if I have, I hope that I did not yet grab the gym. Can I just get through here without having to kill these guys? I think I can. It's probably not through the locked door. There's probably treasure through the locked door. Uh, we could go check real fast while I got a Forsworn on my tail. Hey, that is not quite where I wanted to go. Out on the balcony. I bet I might be able to do something glitchy though. Huh, this looks like it has some potential. I'm not gonna try this for real long on cam. Let's uh, let's chop this off. Yeah, I tried a couple times. I can't quite glitch up. So let's move back through the tower itself, if I remember correctly. Over here. There is a chain or something, or something somewhere. <clears throat> if I wasn't real careful, that may have hurt me. You're probably not going to like having that tunnel blocked. There's the lever! See if I can keep just dodging this uh, self-proclaimed agile little guy over here with the blades. Thinking he can actually catch me. Whoa, that's a little damage. That was the door... No, that was the door that I unlocked. Okay, so this is the door that I just opened. I think my summons are winning out. After all, they are otherworldly strong. Very, very powerful creatures. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm hot on the trail now. And we are at the top. I expected an enemy to be up here, but... It appears that there is not. I think there's normally a, uh, a hog raven right up here. And I'm starting to think... Yeah, I already got this shout and everything that this character's already grabbed this. Oh no, that means I have to go magically reach out to another one of my characters and pull him through the Aether to this location. Oh boy, this is gonna be quite the trip. This is going to turn out to be quite the little battle, I think. Yeah, do you know I'm here now? I would sure hope so. I know your bones are going to alert you and all, but what if I don't care too much about that? Well, that ice spike in my back looks like it's pretty painful. That was not the critical I was looking for. And down some more Forsworn go. Let's do a magical teleport and jump to the top cave. So let's pick this bad boy up. And take her down. Now this happens to also be the location of a quest item. I'm not going to spoil the quest. It is a Daedric quest. And uh, I have a video out for it. So there's the stone. There's the unusual gem. And I believe that would be gem number 10. We are moving right along here. We are uh, nearing the halfway done point. Can I please pick up this potion? It's bugging me. Yes, I can. Uh, all right, so next... So after gym 10, let's proceed to Whiterun, where we will find no less than three different stones of Berenzaia. The first will be in the Halls of the Dead. Oh, what a creepy place for treasure, you say? Yes, indeed it is. So, or I guess the Hall of the Dead, it is a building, it's their tomb building, this being the main gate down here. Just take that first left, it'll basically lead you straight to the hall. The gym is inside. I do not recall where. It is sitting on top of a tomb, I believe. 
Probably not in the uh, the bedroom of the stewards. So let's go deeper. Oh, skeletons! This is not good. Let's make a speedy little run around the room. I guess I could give them a friend to play with. Okay, I don't think it's in this beginning chamber, so let's go to this door first. This looks like a skeleton opened it. If I didn't know any better. A book that's somewhat valuable, but not a skill book. Let's get a double cast of the shield, in case I end up taking this skeleton abuse for long. We have another door in this bottom corner. Surely this is it, if that was not, right? Huh. I wonder if this is yet another one that my mage has already snatched. Oh, I'm so silly. It wasn't in either of the side rooms. It's just right down here on this little elbow. So right up here is the way you come in. If you just take a left and right immediately, boom. Right down there is the stone. Boy, that one was easy. Okay, two more here in White Run. We got a couple quick ones on our hand. The next one is going to be in Yorvisker, the Hall of the Companions. It is the upside down boat. At least that's what I say it looks like. Looks like a Viking boat turned upside down and then uh, ornamented a little bit on the top there. Turned into a pub. Or maybe a metery. The gym is in Codlac Whitemane's quarters. So Codlac's the old guy that dies. I see it already. There is yet another unusual gem. That makes 12. And that makes one more. In what character? Am I? Okay, that makes sense then. I was getting ready to say, wait a second, why is Codlac standing there? <laughs> uh, I'm not on Creasy, that's why. The final gem is in Dragon's Reach itself. So we're gonna run up top here. And we're gonna go sneak into the Yarl's quarters. Oh yes, the Yarl. <laughs> that will be up in the back. And I believe it's on a desk. Uh, maybe on like an end you. table. You know the whispering lady, don't you? I don't know any whispering lady. You. You crazy little kid. Get away from me. Lady, Creepy little teleporting child. Okay, so here's the Jarl's quarters, and here's a book that's not going to give me any skill. I think it's in here. Ah, so again, I had seven of these gems before I started doing this with this character, and it seems like I'm running into a lot of them quick that I've already gotten with him. Or maybe I was just totally wrong about the location of the gym. Maybe not totally. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe it's not in the office. Maybe it's actually in his bedroom instead. Aha! And I am proven correct. Another unusual gym collected. So that makes the three in white run, and that makes the thirteenth gym. Over halfway done already? So let's head out into the surrounding area to a nice little nook called Renvig's Fast. And seeing that cleared, why do I get the feeling that my mage has already snatched this stone too? Well, I suppose we'll at least venture inside and see what it's all about. I don't have any magic equipped right now, do I? That is very odd. Okay, I think I'm beginning to remember something. I want to say a College of Winterhold quest led me here. I don't perfectly remember. I don't remember where the gym is either, unfortunately. Skyrim cleared? I have I have Skyrim cleared. Check it out. Look at that. Go out to Skyrim, which I have cleared. <laughs> okay, so my super handy guide says that the gym will be on a table near a watery prison, and that makes me remember that there's a place in Ranvig's Fast where you can fall through a trap door matter of fact I think it's right up here and you end up in a prison yeah and check that out oh nice so there's a hole here that lets in light and as you pass the light your eyes adjust to it very quickly 
and then do not adjust quickly to the darkness. So look at that. Chink. You would normally go right over the little hole and you would fall down inside. And unfortunately that's what I want to do. Because I think I've already taken out Renovik. So it's supposed to be on a table. Ah, uh, I bet that's the table and I bet yet again my mage has already gotten it. Ha. Ah. Hand coordination. Leads a lumberjack to the unheard tree that <laughs> fell in the woods. This is not it. Oh, 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 oh. There for a second we were performing a dance move. We were both circling around each other's backs. Why would I not take the chance to snatch up a little treasure while I'm over here near Ranavig's Fast? Maybe a couple pieces of treasure. And maybe an enemy who's worth his salt. And a little fatality animation on him. I just leveled something up and I don't know what it was. And I'm probably about to level my lock picking up after breaking a bunch of picks. But I will eventually get the chest. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. I'll take everything but the iron boots. Way too heavy and way too unvaluable. Okay, so I'm close to Renovig's fast. Oh, man. To get to the fast, I may have to cross some dangerous territory. Dangerous indeed. I think I may have a potion that's going to make this a bit easier. Let's see what it might be. Uh, elixir of health is definitely going to help. Sure, we'll waste a frostbite venom. And let's see. Fortify heavy armor? Not yet. I may use that though. Ooh, we've got to fortify with restore some health. Let's do that. And that might be it for now. See if we can bring this dragon to ground. There he is. Now let's see if we can kill him all at once. I'm starting to think I'm not going to get a full kill on him before he picks up again, but I'm doing some decent damage real quick. Regeneration, uh, plentiful healing. Let's do a couple. Um, stamina. Yeah, get my stamina back. I'm just going to power attack again immediately. And then let's go ahead and do heavy armor, because he might bite me. I hope he stays on the ground. Stay down here. Stay down here. Stay down here. Oh, he might stay down for good. And I got him. Oh, come on. You can't give me a fatality animation on an elder dragon. What's up with that? Oh, yeah, and I finally moved up in my restoration spell. I'm finally using the apprentice level. Oh, my God. Apprentice level magic. I've got to be such a powerful mage for all of that. Not so much at all. Just a crafty red guard who's dedicated to his craft. I.e. crafty. As can be seen by my elusiveness and my craftiness. And eventually, after a trek through the mountains, I will relocate Ranavig's fast. I think I'll even locate it in a way that allows me to quickly get to the juicy bits. Ew! That or in a way that allows me to get stuck and have to fast travel to the location I just discovered. I will not spoil most of the surprise of the dungeon for ye, but I will fall yet again. And I will ensure that you get to see the stone. So there is the unusual gem. Some other potentially valuable things, including some treasure in a chest. Oh yeah, some decent treasure in a chest. Alright, I think I've spent quite enough time on this stone. Oh man, I was thinking I was moving right along, and then this bad boy happened. Let's get out of here and see about that next gym. Next, we're going to another location where I have a feeling my mage has already been in and done the dirty deed. Felglow Keep. Let's do two single casts here. And let's get it on! Apprentice Fire Mage. I bet he didn't really like the taste of my fire. He's probably thinking, holy crap. Oh yeah, that's right. Flame Atronox are immune to fire, so whatever will I do? Chain lightning because it caught it looks cool? Eh, there's a more powerful lightning. Isn't there 31? I don't think that's it. Aw, oh, screw it. We'll do the uh 
We'll do the master. You think you can do something to me? But you actually can't. Oh yeah, here we go, fatality. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No match at all is right. Oh no, hold up. Yeah, please do cast the heal. Let's go inside. Where we may or may not find more rogue mages. So, I think there's a workbench. I actually hear somebody pounding away. I think they're on the workbench that I'm interested in. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fatality Fireball. Um, let's see. Is it in this room? It may not be. And it may be, and I may have already picked it up. Sooner or later, I'll get the hint and just start going after each one with this character. After all, the uh, mage isn't even a member of the Thieves Guild yet, so I've got to go complete that before I can even turn the quest in with him. Ah, bullocks! So let's give this room one more try. Oh, the lightning hurts. Ooh, I already see it. The little pink gem there on the table. But it's gonna have to wait! Oh, she's a novice, come on. How is she dodging my attacks so well? Oh, that's, whoa. Holy freaky. There's the gemstone. Okay, so this is in Felglow Keep. That is the front door. It's straight in and up to your right. You can't hide from Easy as can be, right? Apparently, right, right. Oh, ooh, he hurts. Oh, it's painful. Oh, I just about wanted to Fushroda him off, but it looks like he jumped off himself. And of course, he's going to be healing. Well, guess what? So will I. Now, of course, he's going to be throwing more fire at me. But I'll be dodging. And I'm going to be throwing some blades at him. And he's out of mana. So, another stone. I think maybe one more stone. For stone number 16, we're going to travel into Windhelm. The capital in which Ulfric Stormcloak resides. At least until you complete the quest for the Imperials. Uh, excuse me, guard. Hey, I know who you are. A guard aligned with the Dark Brotherhood. And I'm going to first, there are actually two in Windhelm. The House of Clan Shattershield, which is actually directly behind me. Yeah, that's the one. Ooh, a Master Lock. Interesting. I may uh, have to cut out my attempt on this, because it may take me just a minute. Ooh, I think I saw movement. And in we go. Apparently, the stone, and I think this is one I've never even seen yet, because I haven't gotten them all, even with my archer. I think the stone is in a bedroom. Can't a man have a bit of privacy? Oh, I'm Can so I sorry, go? Mr. Tarjorn. Hopefully I can find it before he goes. Absolutely. Oh, here Last we go. Warning. So in the top, I guess Leave the map doesn't really now. show you a great view of it. Hey, I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I did not mean to trespass. Please do not call the guard on me. Trespass. No, 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 no. I think I got out quick enough that I didn't get any bounty. So if you go in there at night, obviously you'll have a, a, an easier time uh, getting past people. They're going to be sleeping, so you'll have an easier time sneaking and uh, snatching the gym up. The next one is in the Palace of Kings. However, I think I'm going to chop this video here and go ahead and move on to part three, so I don't have any uh, unusually long part. Um, I think most of the rest of them, there's only one more that has stringent requirements. So, uh, hopefully this will kind of be quick and easy from here. Uh, anyway, we'll see in the next episode. Later!